Today I displayed numbers with redstone. So that's how the build looks, you input a digit you want to see displayed via binary number at the back, for example, if I want to input a 5, I just need to input a 5 in binary at the back, and a 5 gets displayed. Now we can do that with any digit, so for example, if I want to display 7, I only have to input 7 at the back like so, and 7 gets displayed. And we can even put two displays one next to each other to show a two digit number. For example, let's input a 9 in the first one and a 6 in the second one. And as you can see, 69 gets displayed. Nice. By the way, you will need to know binary to watch this video. You only have to understand that you can represent numbers with it. If you want more information, however, my friend Mabawings made a whole tutorial about it on his channel, link in description. These displays are one of the most crucial components of computational redstone creations. They can be used to show player scores, what you input in the calculator, the result of that calculation, the program counter in a redstone computer, etc, etc. It's very versatile, so when there are numbers involved in the circuit, there usually are those displays somewhere near. Now, this display has an input of 4 bits, meaning that you can input numbers from 0 through 15. However, our display can only show a digit from 0 through 9. What do you think will happen if we input 10, for example? Okay, let me input 10, so this and this one, I think. Nah, I'm kidding, it just doesn't show anything. <laughs> Alright, so how do we build one of these bad boys? Firstly, let's define what we want exactly, it's important for any project. But in this case, it's not really that complicated, we want a system so that for any binary number inputted from 0 through 9, it displays the number on the panel right here. Let's get to it! The first thing we're going to need is a 7 segment display to display the digits. It's called a 7 segment display because you have 7 segments arranged as an 8 that you can individually toggle to display a symbol you want, and in our case, we want to display digits. For example, if we wanted to display a 4, we would toggle these segments on, and as you can see, we are currently displaying a 4, and we can do that with any digit. For example, if we want a 0, we activate any segment except the middle one. If we want a 1, we only want the two vertical ones on the right, and we got ourselves a 1. So now we have our display, but we need a way to light up the correct combination of segments when a certain number is inputted. Let's first build a 7 lines stacked on top of each other like so, and let's link each of them to a segment on the display, so that each line controls a segment. I also added signs so that we can know which segment which line is controlling. For example, if I turn on segment bottom, bottom right and bottom left, we get a U-shaped type of thing, but if I turn on every segment except the top right one, we get ourselves a 6. Next, let's construct a redstone tower like so, with blocks on one side of it with torches on them. There is a torch at the bottom keeping the redstone activated throughout the whole tower, and so the torch on the side of it are off. But how does this tower help? Well, if you power the torch at the bottom, it will unpower all the redstone and as the torches on the side will turn on and activate their respective lines. And you can also see that torches don't need to be placed next to every line. For example, this torch of the middle segment isn't present and thus when the tower gets unpowered, there is no current going in the middle segment because there is nothing there. This tower makes us able to activate any combination of segments we want by placing torches on the side. Which segment gets unpowered is completely up to you, it's fully customizable. For example, this combination of torches which lights up any segment except the middle one is going to display a 0 when unpowered. However, if we want a 1 coming out of this tower, we would only need a torch powering the top right segment, so top right on this one, and the bottom right segment, and as you can see, a 1 gets displayed. Now let's stack those towers 10 times over, one for each digit we want to display. And it looks like this, we now have 10 towers which are all coded to a certain digit. For example, this tower is the first tower we built, and we can see that the torches have been placed so that it displays a 0. So if I input it, we can see we get a 0 out. The tower on the other end is going to display a 9 by lighting up every segment except the bottom left one. So as you can see, if I input it, we see a 9. And the last example, so the middle tower which is a 4, so this one, if we put it in the system, we can see that we get a 4 out. It's that easy, we can now choose which number we want to display by toggling any tower. 
However, we can only toggle one tower at a time, otherwise it doesn't work. We can't show two numbers at the same time. But we are not quite done yet. We cannot display any digit, but our input is a 4-bit binary number. How do we decode the binary number so that it sends a signal to the right tower? Well, very conveniently, we use decoders. I won't go into details about how they work, but I have a video about them that I've linked in description. The whole idea is that you have your 4-bit input down there and 10 blue towers on the side of the input lines. Each of these towers are going to check if the input is a certain number with a fancy combination of torches and repeaters, and if the number they check for is inputted, it will send a signal over to the segment tower above, and you can see it if this torch at the top is on. So for example, this last tower over there is checking the input to know if we have inputted 0. And turns out that yes, we are inputting 0, because 0, 0, 0 and 0 in binary is 0 in decimal. So the decoder tower sends a signal to the 0 tower and thus 0 gets displayed. If we input 2 for example, we can see that the decoder tower for 2 is sending a signal to its segment tower and so 2 gets drawn on the 7 segment display. So you only have to build 10 of these decoder towers, each decoding from digits from 0 through 9 and then hook them to their respective segment towers and you're done. Our build is finished, we can input any number from 0 to 9 and we will see it drawn on the display. Awesome! Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool so I wanted to show you. <laughs> See ya.